Imagine a world where scientists have the amazing ability to change how living things work. They can fix illnesses in our genes, make plants grow better in tough conditions, and even bring back animals that have disappeared. This is all because of something called genetic engineering. It's like changing the instructions of life, written in DNA. But while it's exciting, it's also a bit tricky. In this video, we're going to be exploring the world of genetic engineering, how it works, how it can revolutionize everything we knew about science, and of course, its future and dark side. What is genetic engineering? Genetic engineering might sound like something from a sci-fi tale, but it's actually a mind-bending reality. It's like rewiring the blueprint of life, allowing scientists to tinker with the very code that makes living things what they are. Imagine being able to edit genes just like you'd edit a photo on your phone. That's the power genetic engineering brings to the table. Now, let me hit you with a mind-blowing fact. The very first genetically engineered organism was created way back in 1973. Scientists inserted a gene from one bacterium into another, giving birth to a whole new species. It was like playing genetic Lego, and it marked the beginning of this awe-inspiring journey. Here's a shocker. Genetic engineering isn't just about lab-grown experiments. You might have already eaten genetically modified organisms, also known as GMOs, without knowing it. Those plump, juicy tomatoes in the supermarket might have had their genes tweaked to stay fresher longer. And that fluffy loaf of bread? Yup, it could be made from GMO wheat, engineered for a higher yield and better resistance to pests. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Let's talk about the story of the rapid growth salmon. These fish were genetically engineered to grow twice as fast as regular salmon. Sounds cool, right? Well, imagine if these super speedy salmon escaped into the wild and started mating with normal salmon. The result? A potential disruption of the delicate balance of nature. Potential Applications and Capabilities Over the years, genetic engineering has been applied in different fields. Let's start with medicine. Genetic engineering could change how we treat illnesses. Think of it as making personalized medicine where treatments are designed just for you. This could mean better ways to deal with diseases that bother you. Here's something to think about. Scientists talk about making designer babies. It's not about fashion, though. It's about picking specific genes to make sure future generations don't get sick. But this brings up important questions about what's right and what's too much. Now, on to farming. Imagine having plants that can handle really tough situations, like no water or lots of bugs. Genetically modified crops are like superhero plants that can survive and feed more people. But some people worry that changing plants too much might cause problems we don't expect. Ever heard of de-extinction? It's a cool idea where scientists bring back animals that have disappeared, like the woolly mammoth. They use bits of DNA from ancient remains to do so. It's exciting, but some folks say we should focus on taking care of the animals we have today. Here's a surprise. Genetic engineering isn't just for Earth. Even NASA is interested. They're thinking about how it can help grow plants on Mars, which they believe might help make Mars a more comfortable place to live someday. In simple words, genetic engineering is changing what we thought was possible. It affects medicine farming, and even space adventures. But like any big journey, there are challenges and things to think about along the way. How Genetic Engineering Works Let's look behind the scenes and see how genetic engineering really happens. Imagine having a special toolbox that lets you change the instructions for making living things. Genetic engineers have tools like these to change how organisms grow and work. One tool they use is called CRISPR-Cas9. It's like a pair of tiny scissors that can cut DNA in specific places. Scientists use it to remove parts they don't want or put in new pieces. It's like fixing a story by adding or removing sentences. DNA is like a recipe that tells a living thing how to work. Genetic engineers can add new recipes to an organism's DNA. This tells the cells to do something different. It's like adding a secret ingredient to a recipe and seeing how the dish changes. 
Scientists can take genes from one thing and put them in another. For example, they might take a gene from a fish that can handle very cold water and put it into a plant. This might help the plant survive in cold places. It's a bit like borrowing a friend's special tool to use for yourself. Genetic engineering needs careful work. Scientists have to pick the right genes and know how to put them in the right way. And just like any experiment, things might not always go perfectly. There could be surprises, both good and not so good. The Dark Side of Genetic Engineering Now, hold on to your hats, because we're going to explore the not-so-bright side of genetic engineering. Imagine you have a super cool gadget, but if you're not careful, it could cause some unexpected problems. That's kind of what's happening with genetic engineering. There are potential downsides that we need to pay attention to. Let's start with the story of the killer mosquitoes. In some places, mosquitoes spread diseases like malaria. Scientists thought, what if we could change mosquitoes so they couldn't carry these diseases anymore? So, they engineered mosquitoes that couldn't pass on the disease. Sounds amazing, right? But then something unexpected happened. These new mosquitoes started to take over and the balance of nature got all mixed up. Who would have thought that changing one thing could lead to a whole chain of events? Here's another twist. What if we engineer crops to resist pests? Sounds like a smart idea to help farmers, right? Well, it can also mean that pests become superbugs, bugs that survive even when we try to get rid of them. It's like playing a never-ending game of tag with bugs that just won't give up. And then there's the big question of ethics. Imagine someone who wants to engineer humans to be super smart or super strong. It might sound cool, but it also raises concerns. Should we be playing with our genes to make ourselves better? What if this creates a divide between people who can afford these changes and those who can't? In a nutshell, genetic engineering has a dark side that we need to be careful about. It's not just about the cool things we can do, but also about thinking ahead and considering the consequences. Like any adventure, we need to be prepared for both the bright and the shadowy parts. The Future of Genetic Engineering Looking ahead to the future of genetic engineering, we're in for a mix of amazing possibilities and important challenges. It's like standing at a crossroads where we have the chance to unlock incredible new abilities, but we also need to tread carefully to avoid potential pitfalls. In the coming years, genetic engineering could become even more powerful than it is now. Scientists might not just change a single gene, but many genes together. This could create organisms with super abilities, like plants that can survive in really tough conditions or animals with unique traits. Imagine a world where we can modify our own bodies to better fight off diseases. It's a fascinating idea that might become a reality. However, as we gain more power, we also need more responsibility. The ethical side of genetic engineering will become more important. For instance, people might start making designer babies, where parents choose certain traits for their children. While this might seem exciting, it raises big questions about fairness and the limits of playing with nature. Medicine stands to benefit a lot from genetic engineering in the future. Doctors could treat diseases by changing the genes that cause them. This could lead to better treatments for tough diseases like cancer. We might be able to find solutions to health issues that have puzzled us for a long time, such as Alzheimer's and diabetes. However, there's a flip side to everything. Genetic engineering also offers the chance to bring back animals that have disappeared. This is called de-extinction. While it sounds like a fantastic idea, it's not without problems. We have to think about how these revived creatures would fit into our world today. And guess what? The future might see a teamwork of sorts between genetic engineering and artificial intelligence, or AI. AI could help us predict what might happen if we change genes. It's like getting a sneak peek into the future before we even make a move. This could help us avoid surprises and make smart decisions. To ensure that we're moving in the right direction, we need rules. International agreements will be important to make sure genetic engineering is used responsibly and safely. 
we have to find a balance between exploring new horizons and making sure we don't cause unintended harm. In the big picture, the future of genetic engineering is like a mix of bright lights and shadows. Our choices will shape the path of science, the way we live, and the world itself. Think of it like solving a complex puzzle. Every step needs careful thought and consideration. The future is exciting, but it's also a journey that requires us to think ahead and make choices that will benefit us all. If you've made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you've received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.